Episode four of the Pozo Training Diaries, and guess what? The World Cup starts tomorrow. Yes, the 2019 Peterway Wave season kicking off. Uh, how's the forecast looking? Well, it's looking so-so. There is a lot more wind in the middle of the week, but the wind's a bit north and that could mean it's gusty, but we are definitely gonna have action for you. Uh, and we do have some big news. And if you've been in Pozo for the last couple of weeks, you will already know this. There are 60 juniors signed up, 60. And where are they? They're all out on the water every day. And you know the problem? They don't get tired. They are just there morning, noon and night. But we love the juniors. They're the future of the sport. So we're putting up with the little monkeys. Yes, <laughs> but they are throwing down the moves. It's pretty exciting to see. Uh, and the one crazy thing about the juniors being here, you see the progression. You come back every day and one of them's learned something else or they've, they've adjusted the technique and they're just watching all the action and they're just soaking it in. The sponge is just... I'm like, oh my God, 41 now, yes. And I am not learning very fast. Do you know why I know that? Because we did a tabletop, four, I mean, tabletop challenge off the lip. Uh, you remember last week I talked about Ricardo Campello, the top boys. He'd got this move, this tabletop off the lip. It was pretty sick, one of my favorite moves. Well, we discussed it in the house. Um, we went down the beach the next day and literally everyone was trying it, yeah. There was loads of people trying. We thought, okay, let's have a little house challenge. Um, how did I get on? <laughs> Rubbish. So, I, yeah, I, you're, you're watching the footage now. I know. So there are a few excuses. Um, I've got a really bad back. My hips are really tight. I've got really short legs. And the one big thing, I can't tabletop on starboard. It's a disaster. Uh, but I thought I'd put this footage in. Yeah, I know you're thinking, what a kook. Um, but I'm just going to show you the progression because at some point I will learn to do it and then we'll put it back. And it's just to show how badly you can start to how well you can finish. This obviously relies on me learning to do it. Um, the other housemates, well, they got on pretty well, yeah. Um, Adam Lewis, especially, and I think, you know why? I mean, this was we only did it for like half an hour, maybe an hour, let's say. Uh, but his progression was good. Uh, I did a couple on one wave. Yeah, and he was, you know, if you, if, you, if you play them full speed, they're not as good as when you slow them down. The slowed down ones, maybe not quite Ricardo Campello style, but they're quite getting better. Uh, and I was going to say, you know the reason he was extra motivated? Because last year, Ricardo Campello knocked him out in the dying seconds of the heat with one of those exact moves, and he beat him by point something of a point. So there's a little bit of bitterness there, and he looks determined to learn that move. So watch this space. Uh, we've got to mention Mark Parry. He only tried a few, but these long legs, they're like Goya legs, aren't they? You remember Goya with those old tweak tabletops in the past? I think parry has got, he could do some absolute sick tabletops with them long pins, but there is a weird point that we, when he's coming off it, I'm like, where is that board pointing? I couldn't even do that if I tried. Uh, and I think each one of us tweaked our knee doing this. So it's not an easy move. There were, like I said, there was a few other boys doing it. Um, that's Morgan Narrow, yes. Now that wasn't his best effort. And I had to put that in because there's something that happens when you try this move that when you've already set up for doing it and if the wave hits you wrong or you take off wrong, you always end up doing a little one and it, and it never looks very good. So there you go. Uh, tabletop off the lip. Um, we saw back loops off the lip. Yeah, there was a few people trying these. Uh, I'm not sure I got any landed ones. Oh yes, I did. Marsilio Brown landed an absolute stormer. But obviously he was one of the guys I mentioned doing them. Also saw Thomas Traversa going for a few. Jager Stone actually he apparently landed a sick one, but Tom missed it. Tom. Oh, so yeah, it's interesting like uh, what a uh, little bit of video does and people pushing pushing the limits. Uh, speaking of Thomas Traversa and Jager Stone, these are obviously challenges for that podium places. I only mentioned four guys last week, um, but these guys are definitely podium contenders and world title contenders. Uh, Jager Stone's been here early, pushing hard, push forwards at a couple of nice ones. Um, and a couple of not so nice ones. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ouch. 
but he's been pushing hard. Obviously, he's sick wave riding, wave moves, uh, always a force to be reckoned with. He's also been seen on a new sail. Uh, now, we don't always talk about new sails and technology, but this is from Severn and there is no stitches. Yes, no stitching. So what you call it, welded or fused or something? I'm sure you're gonna be hearing more about this sail. He only seems to have it in the bigger sizes, but it's got carbon in there as well. So we're gonna to have to wait for Severn to release more on that, but that looks something new. He's obviously got new starboard as well. Um, so that's, uh, you know, for interesting uh, combos going on. Uh, Thomas Traversa uh, supporting the Father Christmas Santa Claus suit, I reckon. You can hear like the sleigh bells in the background. I thought that was quite good. But Traversa, always a challenger and always turns up late. Uh, this year maybe turned up a little bit early, uh, but there hasn't been much conditions for him to, to really put it out there. But he's out there practicing. Um, who else we got to talk about? Golito, we've mentioned him before, but he looks really on form at the moment. Um, there was a lot of talk last year about his freestyling going into the waves and maybe the postoring. Postoring? Post? What's postora? Postora. I hear this from all the boys. Ah, postora, postora. It means position or, or I don't know what it means actually, but it means basically when you bottom turn and you stay in this position for a long, long, long time before you do the move. Uh, and a few of the sort of, uh, let's say purists out there are saying that's not wave riding, that's not wave riding. Uh, but Garito Australia has definitely put that right this year. I mean, Pozo is a postura place because when you bottom turn and it doesn't line up, what are you going to do? Do a really rubbish cut back and come back? No, you're going to go off down the line looking for a little trick on the line. So um, look out for that on the live stream this year, postura. Uh, if they do a long postura into a goiter, it's definitely not going to score as much as a bottom turn into a goiter or an aerial or something like that. Um, who else are we looking out for? Um, well, there's obviously, a, there's quite a few guys. Musso, he's been up there plenty of times before in the past. He doesn't usually do the double. He doesn't do the push forward, but he is always there. He's got the wave moves. He's got all the moves. Um, who else have we got? We've got the young guns coming through. Uh, Mark Paré, uh, I've got to mention him. Simmer teammate, housemate. It'd kill me if I didn't mention him, but genuinely, he is a contender. He's been pushing so hard. He's been here a month early. We haven't had the conditions, but he has been busting out the moves, and he literally has all the tricks uh, to maybe podium, uh, but he's going to have to go hard. Like I said last week, there's four guys who are really, uh, really bowled up there. Um, Julian Salmon, he was here early, uh, one of the young guys, uh, trained obviously a lot in Tenerife uh, on the Bruce boards and he's been going high, I mean really high. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, he's been going big. Uh, who else have we got? we got Adam Lewis, yeah, housemate, he's been sailing super well since he's been here. He's been hammering the doubles as usual and he's been pulling off some absolutely sick 360s. Fifth in the world last year, looks like uh, another contender this year. Uh, also fellow countryman, Robbie Swift, uh, just dropped a video. Uh, as always, Robbie Swift, always a contender. He's got all the moves as well, stalled, double push forward. He'll need a bit of breeze and hopefully, I think he'll probably need a few waves as well, but uh, definitely a contender. Uh, we've also got the locals. Uh, unfortunately, as I mentioned in one of the earlier episodes, Pons is injured, but the rumor is he's gonna compete. Um, yeah, so uh, we haven't seen him at the beach recently, but hopefully that is true. Uh, we're going to have uh, Moritz Mouth. Moritz Mouth. I mean, he is Mr. Wave Move. Yes, he has got all the moves. He's been uh, shown on a new board this week. He's on the new Severn Nano. Again, another new thing coming out. They've changed it, it looks like, a bit this year, and he seems to be landing all his moves again. We still haven't seen him leave the water going out. No, he doesn't like jumping but he has got the wave moves. Uh, Omar Sanchez, another injury candidate, tweaked his foot doing a stall forward the other day. He's been uh, seen getting a lot of rehab recently, so hopefully he's gonna be up to speed. Uh, Romero, I saw he got a wild card and he's upset a few of the big guns before. Local guy, he's got all the wave moves, he's got the jumps as well. He's definitely one to watch. Uh, we've also got Amado Vriesweig leading the Freestyle World Tour, is entering, I think, his first wave event. Uh, not known for his wave riding, but he is got the jumps um, and he has turned up a bit early he was out there freestyling earlier absolutely throwing down the moves um, who else have we got 
Marino Gill. Yes, the young gun, the local guy. He's on the Goya sales and he is definitely one to watch. I've seen him busting out a few new moves. The clay, which is that 360 and then the reverse in the end. And he is going high off nothing. If we get small conditions, he could be a true, true contender. Uh, and obviously we don't leave out the old guard, you know, Danny Bruce as well. Uh, I think he had a bit of a bad landing on one of the, st well, on the storm chase earlier this year. And he's took a bit of time getting back for that. But uh, he was here a week ago or so when he was busting out his moves as we know he can do. And then a couple others I'm going to mention. Alessio Stilrich, back from injury. He is going massive. Um, he's got that stylish, you know, one foot, one hand. And he's got those tweak pushes, as we know. You know, coming back for injury, he was wondering how high he was going to go. But it doesn't seem to have calmed him down. And he has got the wave moves. He was bashing out goiters left, right and centre the other day. Um, and then... We've got the crazy man, the crazy French man, Antoine Martin. Yes, he's just come back into town. Not quite seen him on the water yet, uh, but he's leading the IWT at the moment and he is looking in fine, fine form by all accounts. Uh, so there's an interesting lineup. I know I've probably missed a few people, uh, but I'm just reeling them off the top of my head at the moment. Uh, and we left you there with Antoine Martin. I've got to talk about Antoine Martin because his name came up uh, actually today because I sent a video by the young kids that have been training um, mainly uh, Lawrence Smooth now he had a bit of a bet with the boys here that he could land a shacker within two days and they said if you don't do it you're gonna have to do a stall forward in your pants he didn't do it he had to do a stall forward in his pants well I gotta say it boys you gotta step up the challenges come on because if everyone remembers the training diaries last year Antoine Martin made a bet with Mark Paré what did you say? I'm gonna go for a double push loop first ramp if no, I do, do, that's because of the wet suit. Yo, no, if I do, you go like make it first run forward. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And if you game. don't, well, if then, I don't, then you have to do a slow forward naked. That's okay. What you have to do. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that's what you have to do. Okay, at least it's like <laughs> there's a lot okay. of nakedness going on. So, but tr just try, eh? try double push loop. I didn't say that. Just try. Okay, just try. Yeah. I'm now guess what, he didn't do, I mean he actually tried on his fifth run but he, he actually ended up like doing this on his first run. <laughs> yes, a catapult, so he had to do a stall forward. Now this footage has not seen the light of day. Now I wasn't going to show it, but I think maybe it's time to unleash the footage. It is classic. Now this was shot in uh, Madano after Pozo last year. And this guy is a man of his word. Yes, Anto. we're gonna have to cover up his bits because they were, they were swinging around a bit. But he went out and first wave, check this thing. My God, I reckon that might have got a little nut or two on the landing. <laughs> Sails back in. Up the beach. I mean, the crowd on the beach. Look at the chicks on there. There's girls. There's women. There's, there's actually young girls on the beach. Um, so i got to say, my hat is off. Anton Martin, legend. Um, a man of his word. Uh, and fair play. So, boys, if you're going to make a challenge, come on. You've got to step things up. You've got to step things up. Um, okay, what else are we going to talk about? I think we're going to talk about... Yes, your chance to win an F2 board a sale, two subs. Uh, we've also had interest about putting a holiday in there as well. Uh, windsurfing TV caps, all this will go on on the 1st of August. How do you get involved? Well, you have to become a member of windsurfing.tv. How do you do that? Well, just follow the link in the description below. Windsurfing.tv slash beer money. Uh, you can join depending on how much you want to pin. It's up to you. But every £10 per year you put in, uh, we'll get you one raffle ticket for each draw. We're going to do draws throughout the year, but the first one will be the big one, uh, depending on what we get offered for the other ones. Uh, but uh, basically, the money is going towards producing more content, more video, paying Alfie the cameraman to cover who is turning up 
tonight, yes, Alfie Hart will be here to cover the World Cup. So we're going to be bringing you stuff. Um, if you have got anything you want uh, covered, put it in the comments below because we are on it this week and we're going into Furter as well. So uh, get involved with windsurfing.tv membership. We've already had 83 members. It's the usual suspects, I won't lie. So cheers, boys. Uh, there's been a few girls as well, but uh, cheers, boys and girls. Uh, amazing job. But hopefully we can get a few more. 15,000 subscribers on YouTube. Come on, we need 100 or maybe 200. Because if everyone puts in a little bit, imagine if we had 1,000 putting in a little bit, we could have the sickest channel ever. We could be doing collaborations with other teams around the world. We could do spot guides, we could do testing, we could do top gear style, everything. It could be epic. Anyway, just food for thought. Uh, so get involved with that. Um, next up, I've got to show you this uh, absolutely perfect crash from Ricardo Campello. Oh! <laughs> I mean, how did he do that? That was like a double and then midway through jumps off the perfect pencil dive. I mean, the tens from the judges almost didn't create a splash. It was like one of those diving competitions. Impressive. Um, we have had a few crashes this week. Yes, we have. Um, are we, are we going to bring back the feature? <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> It's a terrible feature. <laughs> I think we're going to have to name it someone else. But we had some great catapults. A lot of people, because it's been so flat this week, everyone's been charging like full speed and then hitting a wave the wrong way, catapulting. And we saw quite a few of them going down um, from the numerous sources, some of the top guys in the world and some of the, the guys that have, have not been known before. Um, so, yeah, that has been pretty interesting. And talking of guys that have not been known before, uh, we we actually, uh, there's a spot around here which isn't very known. Uh, we actually saw a glimpse of it last year in the diaries and it wasn't looking its usual self. No, there was waves rolling in. This is Aranaga. This is like two miles up the road from Pozo and this was it with a south swell. This year, it's a different place. I went up there the other day with the missus to see if she could learn to windsurf in 40 knots. Now you'd think, is that possible? Well, yes, it is, because uh, Pozo wins. Yes, I did say Pozo wins. Um, I've got specially made Goya sails for teaching just at this spot. It's absolutely crazy. From point eight, point eight, uh, I think up to 2.4, but I think like 1.4 sails. And it is crazy, the progression on someone learning there. This is like pretty much her first windsurfing go. Beach start straight out, jibe, back, within two hours. Now that's impressive. I thought I'd mention this because there were a few people watching Pozo thinking, oh, I don't know if I could go there, you know, but there is a flat water spot, like I say, that's not really well known, two miles up the way. It's gotta be worth a shout. It's gotta be worth a shout. Um, it also, to be honest, wasn't much more wavy at Pozo this week. It's been flat, uh, but we have seen, I'm gonna put a montage of moves on now uh, of what we've been seeing this week. Uh, and that's it. I've got to go get ready for the World Cup because it starts tomorrow. If you're not excited, what are you doing? This is the most exciting kickoff to 2019. Who is gonna win? Put your answers below. If you're a TV, TV member and you get the prediction of the top three in the men and the top three in the women, I'll give you a hat. I'll give you a hat. You can, I'll send everyone a hat. God, I hope you all don't get it right. Although there's only 93 members, so worst case, 90 hats. This could be expensive. Anyway, in the comments below, put it in. That's it. Stay tuned to the PeopleAidWorldTour.com, the live stream. I'm there all week. We've got nine days. Uh, like I say, Alfie Hart from Windsurfing TV. I'm bringing him over. We're shipping him in. He's going to be here all week. We're going to cover the juniors in full. We're going to do the women with men. We're doing everything. It's going to be an exciting week. Stay tuned.
okay thanks to everyone for tuning in don't forget subscribe to the channel become a member you just click on the link here uh, you can clip on last week's episode which went down really well there was a lot of cool features in that we will be bringing them back but time just crept up on me this week I was actually trying to go sailing uh, but there we go give us a thumbs up like if you liked it